What's up everybody, my name is Michael and welcome back to another mod video. This will be on how to mod Jurassic World Evolution. Now originally we weren't supposed to be able to mod Jurassic World Evolution, but of course they uh, found a way. So here we are, uh, if you follow the link in the description, uh, it'll lead you to this page right here and this is all the mods that have ever been uploaded so far to um, the Nexus Mod Manager, that we're back on the Nexus Mod Manager. And uh, they're uploading mods pretty much daily now. I don't know what it was about this new 93 DLC, but for some reason people figured out how to, um, how to just how to mod uh, not only the skins, but also the models. It's crazy. And it's awesome, and I love it. Uh, so we're going to focus on one. You can see I've already downloaded this. This is the Deinonychus model. It makes it so it doesn't look like a weird fish demon. Uh, you can see they've elongated the snout a little bit, uh, changed the body, and they've gotten rid of the weird fin. And here you can see this is the game model, and here is the new version. Um, so, I mean, I love it. I, I've seen it in-game. It looks amazing. Luca9251, thank you so much for making this mod. This isn't the one we're going to focus on today, though. We're going to focus on this one right here. The 1993 Jurassic Park The Game, Trodon. And here it is. So if you come to this page, you can see these thumbnails. Uh, it'll just show you what the, the Trodon looks like in-game once it's installed. And I love this. I really do. I'm not a fan of the base, the actual vanilla game version of it. And I mean, this just looks so creepy and it's just more interesting with the red going down here and the underbody and like just the black speckling and stuff. And of course, these, these pasty yellow eyes, I mean, they're just so creepy looking and I love it. This mod was done by Steamblust. Uh, they were responsible for doing some of the earliest mods on uh, on Jurassic World, like way back, like like a year ago. They were doing um, different skins mostly. So I really appreciate that they stuck around, and I'm I'm really happy that we can actually get their mods now. This isn't something that's like, oh yeah, we see these select few people getting them, and uh, yeah. So if you get any of these mods, the paths are pretty much the same. I'm going to show you exactly what to do, but uh, just know that whether it's, you know, terrain features or just a new skin or a new remodel of dinosaurs, the path file is pretty much the same. And I'm going to show you how to do it. It's actually right here if you follow this. Um, but don't let this, you know, this, I know it looks daunting, but I'll, I'll walk you through it. It's easy. So just like with the Star Wars mod video, you go to files and you click on that. It's going to lead you to this. You're going to click manual download. Once that's up, you come over here to slow downloading and you click on that. And it's going to start in five seconds. After it's done, you go ahead and click save, save file, hit OK. So once it's done downloading, you come up here to where your downloads are saved, and then you come up here and you just click on that. Um, get rid of this. You're, you're going to need WinRAR or 7-Zip. Uh, both of those are free if you don't already have them. And uh, I'll probably link WinRAR in the description if I remember. But anyway, so you're going to come to this right here. Double click on this. If you want, you can click in here to the readme this is going to tell you exactly where to go all right um so the readme is in there if i'm going too fast you can always consult this but i'm going to show you what to do so you click in required files and you get these right here now the trodon was one of the dlc dinosaurs so let's let's do this let's go into the where i have my games this is all my games by the way uh, and I have to go to, for you it's going to be the same thing, Steam Games, Steam Apps, Common, and then Find Jurassic World Evolution. Now you're going to go into this folder right here that says Win64, double click that. And right here, the OVL data, go in there. Now this is where all of the game files are, and I'm not sure exactly which DLC this was in, so we're going to consult the readme and you can see right here it's content pack DLC 1 so now we know so 
I'm going to go back into this. <clears throat> Sorry for that. Go into Content Pack DLC 1. Double click that. Now you're going to get all these files right here. Click into Dinosaurs. Click into Dinosaurs again. And there it is. You see Trodon. So double click that. And now you're going to take these double click that and drag them into here and drop and replace the files before we go any further I want to make this very clear before we go any further copy this <clears throat> copy this file right here place it somewhere and name it Jurassic World backup you want to back up this because if you need to go back and uh, let's say wipe everything clean you can just drag your OVL data folder from your you know, like your currently existing and replace it with everything that'll wipe out everything. Um, so I wanted to get that out of the way. So go back into content DLC one, dinosaurs, dinosaurs, and you find the respective dinosaur. This is all the dinosaurs that were in the DLC one, the first DLC. So Trodon, and then again, take these files, drag and drop then replace them and that's it you've just modded Jurassic World Evolution we're gonna jump into the game and see how it looks there okay here we go I've gone ahead and incubated a Trodon I'm assuming it's the basic skin uh, I don't know yet so let's go ahead and find out release the dino <laughs> heck yeah that yeah, looks awesome look at it oh, it's so cool looking Oh, I love it. Yes, yes, go eat. Um, so yeah. So that totally worked, that's awesome. Now I want a whole bunch of my park. Uh, I'll come over here and I'll show you the Dynamicus, the new, yeah, there's one. Oh yeah, you're the vivid one too, I like you. Yeah, that's what they look like now, he's, uh, or they, I should say, I don't want to assume anything. Uh, <laughs> But they have uh, gotten rid of the fins on the tail and on the head and elongated the snout and everything. I think they just look so much better. They look so much better like this, more raptor-like. Oh, they're all coming over here. Okay. Hey, guys. I love this vivid skin, though. It looks so good on Dynamicus. The rainforest doesn't look too bad, but the vivid is my favorite. Anyway, this is not what this video is about. <laughs> um, but yeah. So that's how, uh, that's how it's done. I think I'm going to do one more. I don't know what exactly uh, I want to download, but I think I want to do one more just to show again how it's done. Um, in this pin, I've got a couple of Triceratops that I've downloaded, that I've modded to look more like the uh, 93 blue skin. But uh, uh, they're hiding, they're all hiding. I just, I love this DLC. I love these models. They look so much better than what they did before. Is this it? Is this? Oh, I guess that's all of them. Huh. Never mind. I don't have any. Well, I'm a liar. <laughs> but yeah, so we're going to do one more, I think. So uh, bear with me and uh, I'll see you on back on the website. Okay, so here we are back on the website. I've decided to go ahead and get this Carnotaur mod. Well, uh, what this is, is it's a, uh, it's a mod that makes it look like the Carnotaur is back in the Lost World PS1 game. And if anybody remembers that and has played that, then you know what a pain in the butt this guy was. Um, but I love it. And so what they've actually done is they've gone ahead and not only colored it to make it look like the, the game version, the PS1 game variant, but they've also given it a remodel too. So this one, this example is a little bit more in depth than just say changing the skin. And I wanted to do this to show you that it's the same exact thing. So um, this is made by Danny Bob. And Danny Bob, if you are watching, thank you for this mod. I actually really like it. Um, I haven't seen it in game yet, obviously, but uh, I know that I like it just based on I love this, I love the game, and just based on your screenshots, I love it. So here we go. We're gonna we're gonna do the same process. Go to files, go to manual download, 
click on slow download and wait the five seconds. Okay, so now it's downloaded. Save file, hit OK. Go to your downloads and click into the folder. Alright, so here we are. Uh, once again, it comes with the README, you can read that. Okay, so this actually is uh, content zero. So this, I guess, was meant to be in the base game. Um, but they didn't, uh, oh, it's just my miniature servers. That's funny. Uh, that's, that's just a typo. But here we go. So, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go forward into this right here, just to kind of see its path. Uh, so, OVL data. Film content, huh? Dinosaurs. Carnotaurus. And here's the textures. So, by following this, like, going forward, like I just said, um, it lets you see the path that you need to take. So we're going to go into, we're in our Jurassic World Evolution folder. Uh, this is what it's going to look like. You're going to go into Win64, and you're going to go into OVL Data, and then Content Zero. Remember, because that's the, what it, uh, the path it goes into, OVL, and then Film Content. So... Uh, let's see, is it dinosaurs? No. What the heck is, uh, oh, film content, right here. I'm, I'm dumb, I'm an idiot. I, I was going off the readme. So, here we go. Uh, film content. Di dinosaurs. I can get it. And then Carnotaurus, right here. And then there we go. So, it's out of the way. Film content, dinosaurs, Carnotaurus. And then, just like with the other one with the skin, you drag and drop these folders, and then just drop it in here and replace it. Just like that. And now, if everything's done correctly, we should have this Carnotaurus in the game. So we're gonna load up the game and see if it works. Alright guys, here we are, back in the game. Uh, I'm assuming it's the basic skin. I don't know if it works on the others. Maybe we'll find out. Maybe, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll test that out. Um, so, for right now, let's go ahead and release this guy. And hope it worked! <laughs> Look at it! That's awesome! Holy crap! I love it! It looks so weird! Yeah, that's well said. Ah, it's, it's... It's got that PS1 charm to it. Let me get back out. Evolution's doing this weird thing now where after you release the dinosaur, like, it's stuck on the ground camera. Um, so, but yeah, it works. Look at that! I love the colorings. It's not exact, um, to the, the, the PS1 game, but, uh, the author of the mod knows this. But look at that! Oh, and the, and the Rex is back there, they're sizing him up. <laughs> or her, I should say. Oh, they're coming! Uh-oh. But yeah, guys, that is how you mod Jurassic World Evolution. Go have some fun modding, go show those authors of the mod some love, and I will see you in the next video. This is Michael, signing off. Then I came in here and showed it off in combat with these stormtroopers. And yes, the stormtroopers are also modded. Hmm. Um, they will also be in the description. But yeah, so look then. at him. Look at how cool he is. I'm just gonna take a drink. Oh, that's awesome. I don't know, it's just, there's something inherently cool about modding a game that you're not supposed to do. It's just like, it's fun. I don't know. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya. Let's see it twice. Okay.